access for our candidates this time around. I think around. that's true. And that is spectacular. That was our goal. And as a result of Jeez. that, I believe we've had this record viewership. And that will continue. And I also believe that you got to uh, raise the bar and you got to show progress. And uh, and that's only fair. Final question on, on election integrity and election protection. Um, some comments by Jimmy Carter today uh, in which he essentially called the president illegitimate. Uh, because of the aid that was given his campaign by Russia, aid which we've established was exactly extended. There's legislation from the House that for election protection that is essentially being blocked by Mitch McConnell. Are you confident that the in this election process in the general will be an election that is protected and has integrity? I am absolutely confident that foreign actors will attempt to do again what they did in 2016, because we are at war right now, Chris. It is a cyber war, and the commander-in-chief is complicit with the enemy. He has his head in the sand deliberately because he benefited from it, and that is why we have invested early and often and with many partners to make sure we're securing our elections. When Director Mueller testifies, I hope hope somebody asks him about the indictment in which it is alleged that foreign interference took place not only at the DNC, but in uh, 500,000 names in an unnamed state party. We need to know more about yeah. that. And this president isn't doing anything. Wow. And that is why election protection is a staple for the Democratic National Committee and for others in the... De I am sorry to say, but you lost today, period. I forgot to wear my Apple Watch or carry my phone, so I don't have any proof, but you're just going to have to trust me. Ecosystem. This shouldn't be about right versus left. This is about right versus yes. wrong. It's about election integrity, and it's about our democracy. Well, I should say, I should slightly correct you, which he is doing something about it, which is joking with Vladimir Putin yeah. about well, it today uh, uh, while abroad. Tom Perez, thanks for being with me tonight. Always a pleasure, Chris. All right, still ahead, the first major test of the campaign. How do the candidates fare? We'll talk about the many layers behind the most intense moment of last night in two minutes. You are listening to MSNBC Commercial Free, exclusively on TuneIn Premium. Here's an update you may have missed from Deadline White House. It's a complete uh, inoculation from what we already know has been telegraphed on the right, which is to paint the entire Democratic Party as too far to the left. I mean, it's just, it's just in the mind of rational people. But that, that, I, think, I think it... it, it uh, uh, Ready? Go get it! Good girl! Good girl! Come here, bring it here! in some cases of national action they were. So you can't say that, but when she talks about I was bust and that I went in and built a career, mm -hmm. that answers a lot of the attacks on the left because some of them uh, didn't even go that trajectory. But I think something else that was very interesting to me, going... It is inappropriate to ask another man to show them his penis, period. I am ashamed of you. Into the uh, hall last night, Everyone was waiting for Bernie Sanders to do the attack. Mm -hmm. And for her to be the one to take on Biden, no one predicted that. No one saw that coming. And even as the night ended, Bernie never stepped in the ring against Biden. The only one that took him on and took him on in a very... Sabrina! Was Kamala Harris? What was all? Who was all of this well, me, about? Everybody me... was going after Biden. Nobody went but this very sharp and very uh, uh, savvy uh, uh, woman. Chloe. Not ready for Kamala, which has happened to too many women, especially black women. 